Shalom. First off, all praise, honor, and glory be to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone that rule well. And salutations unto the elect, the true brothers that are pushing sincerely and truthfully through the four corners of the earth and trying to get the hell out of Babylon. So um, what I want to get into today is this word expendable. Okay, because if you know about the movie Expendable, the the Expendables, okay, with Sylvester Stallone and Jason Statham and Terry Crews, you know, so on and so forth, they are used uh, to carry out military actions. Okay, which the the true men of the Lord, we are the true Expendables. Okay, but the reason why I want to get into it because there's an, there's another side to the word Expendable, which means to get rid of. Okay, so first I'm going to get into the, I'm going to get into the military, uh, military term of the word expendable, and then I'm going to get into the other part and bring out some scriptures to back both up. So first, um, the definition for expendable from dictionary.com, and this is the military sense. Okay, and the military is used for what? To go to war. Okay, right now we are at war. We're going on the highways and byways. We are, um... We're putting our lives on the line. Okay? So I'm going to get straight into this. It says, from the dictionary.com, military, uh, expendables, military, uh, personnel, equipment, or supplies capable of being sacrificed. So like you're capable of being sacrificed in order to accomplish a military objective. Okay? It says, now capable of being sacrificed. Now, when we go out on the highways and the byways, which I'm going to get into the uh, the book of Romans, chapter nine and twenty six. We are um, we are to do this. This is Romans chapter nine. Uh, not nine and twenty six. Salakia. This is um. Shit, Salakia. This is Romans. Yeah, so like uh, uh, chapter 12 and verse 1. Okay, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Okay, so when we go out on the highways and byways, we are, no matter no matter what the season is, no matter what the situation is, okay, of course, we use discretion. If it's, it's a goddamn riot out there, full-blown riot, we're not going to go out on the highways and byways where the riot is. We're going to go somewhere else, okay? But guess what? We're still going to present our bodies to live and sacrifice by still doing that work no matter what the cause, man, okay? And we do that. See, in season, out of season, okay? Sometimes it, it'll, it'll be snowing. Sometimes it'll be raining. It'll be extra windy or it'll be uh, um, hot as hell, man, you know? We're, we're presenting our bodies living, living sacrifice. Not only just with the elements, but also dealing with, you know, dealing with Jake that don't want this word, dealing with the so-called white man, because you have police that have approached us before, man, that will approach us and and, and um, we're, we're threatened with being put in jail or being beaten, man. But guess what? We still, no matter what, we still go and do that work, man, because this work here, this is this is our this is our reasonable service. This is a military objective. You have to be a soldier, man. Okay. And I want to get this too. Um, yep, because I, I mentioned it. This is the book of Saint John, the fifteenth chapter. This is verse twelve. It says, "This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you." Okay, and just just because I read that. Um, let's take that, that clown G man. Okay. This is not talking about loving the so-called white man. This is talking about loving your own people. This is talking about loving the elect, the men that are putting their lives on the line with you. Men that are out there fighting on, on, on the same, on the uh, same gun line as you. Okay. Against the enemy. This is, this is talking about loving your brothers, man. The true brothers, the men that are in this knowledge, not the, not everybody, not the so-called white man. That dude is bugged out, man. You know, but I'm, I'm going to keep moving on. He says, greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And how how do we do that? We do it by the same way Yahweh Shai did, man. 
Yahweh Shai put his life on the line for the elect. He was doing what? He was um, he was cursing out the Pharisees, okay, the, the uh, Pharisees and the Sadducees, the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees that were coming up against him, all right? And guess what? He put his life on the line for the elect, man. We are to follow this. We are follow uh, to follow in suit and put our lives on the line as well. So that's what our, we put our life down on the line for our friends, the elect, the Lord's sheep. Okay. You know, it's, it's no boasting and no bragging. It's a it's a beautiful service to be able to go and do this work for Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, man. And at the same time, we're faced with tribulations when we go out on the highways and byways. But is that going to stop us? You know, is that going to stop us from doing the work? Is that going to stop us from teaching? Is, is that going to make us change our doctrine? Okay, no, we coming straight up the scriptures. And if you don't like it, if you want, if you want to buck up against it, okay, oh well, so what, man? This is the truth, and you can't, you cannot debunk the truth, man. There's no possible way to debunk this truth. You can be a demon all you want, man. You can come with the old fist of cuffs if you want, but that ain't going to change nothing, man. The truth is going to be the truth no matter how you feel about it, okay? It says, ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Okay, so I'm going to move on. To, I'm going to get one more scripture, okay? And then I'm going to move on to the, um, the other side of this word, expendable. This is the book of... Uh, this is the book of uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 4 and verse 28 it says strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee okay strive for the truth unto death man like I said before we are faced with tribulation we are faced with death we are faced with threatenings we are faced with different tribulations that can lead us to death alright but we are going to strive for the truth unto death and it says and the Lord Yahweh shall fight for thee OK, that's all that matters when the Lord is on your side, man, the Lord got your back and he, and he telling you to carry out this this action, which, like I said, these scriptures doing this work is a military action. It's an action of uh, spiritual warfare. OK, when he says carry out these deeds and do this, this is the whole duty of man. Man, we going out there, man, we doing what the, what the hell he said. Because he said, if we do it and if we do and just like I read, if we do what whatsoever he commands us. Then he uh um he loves us, man. Then he's gonna watch our back. And of course it has to be mixed with faith. You can't just go out there and do it. Cause then what you faking the funk. So when you go out there and hit these high this is this is a time of war, man. So when you go out here on the gun line, you gotta be serious. And then you gotta be willing to put your life on the line for the elect, for your how about Shimia Oshai, man. You gotta be willing to do that. Okay? So I'm going to move on to the other side of this. And, and it's, it's a beautiful way that it segue. Okay. The, the other word, uh, the other definition for the same word expendable. Okay. It says um, expendable. Designed to, uh, to only be used once and then abandoned or destroyed. Okay. And do you have men like that? You have men that are coming to this truth. And the Most High, he'll use them. He'll use them as a vessel to push this knowledge out. You know, like a perfect example was uh, Batak, man. You know, he he was a perfect he was a perfect vessel. Uh, Amashab Yala, you know, Arya. These are different men that the Lord used to push out the truth. And these were these were men that were valued in the truth. But guess what? The Most High took his spirit from him and he pushed them out, man. And those guys are gonna be destroyed. You know, Sarge, you know, uh, um, um, I mean, the list goes on and on, man. The list goes on and on. So I'm going to get into a couple of scriptures for that. And this is Luke chapter 9 and verse 62. And it says this. All right. It says. Yep, it says, um, and Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. And that, that putting your hand to the plow is putting your hand to this work. All right? It's picking up your sword and going to war and then bitching out. 
all right, or change, or, or um, your heart being changed. That's turning your hand from the plow, man. You're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. And the Most High used you as a vessel to push, uh, to to portray this truth, uh, to to push it out there, and to be into real men in, and then he kicked your ass out, man. Okay. But this other scripture, this is uh, Ezekiel 18, and this is one of my favorite scriptures, man. This is uh, Ezekiel, the 18th chapter. And I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to start from a good point because it goes in. Okay? Uh, Ezekiel 18. Yeah. Okay, Ezekiel 18 and uh, verse. Let's see. Verse 23, it says, Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, save the Lord Yahweh? And not that he should return from his ways and live. But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and cometh, uh, committeth iniquity and doth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned in his trespass that he hath trespassed and in his sin that he hath sinned in them, he, uh, in them shall he die. Okay. So the Most High can use you as a vessel to do this thing. He can He can make you a righteous man, okay? And then he can totally take his spirit from you, man. And have you bugged out teaching some nonsense? Have you bugged out and going back into your vomit, man, which I'm going to get next, okay? And, that, and this is the book of, um, that, that, that's why you got, and you also got to be humble in this truth, man. You can't just do what the hell you want to do. You can't say what the hell you want to say and expect there to be no consequence. Okay, there's always a consequence if you start speaking against this truth. There's always a, you are now you are considered expendable because the Lord is going to replace you. Okay, M matter of fact, you no, know, I didn't even have this on my list, but this is um, yep, this is uh Romans and that's the spirit I turned right to it. This is Romans chapter eleven and verse uh eighteen. It says, "Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast." Thou bearest not the, the root, but the root thee. Thou will say then, the branches were broken off that I might be grabbed in. Well, because, <clears throat> because of unbelief, they were broken off, and thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. Okay? So don't, don't start getting uh, uh, big-headed in this truth. Don't start thinking that you can't be replaced. You can't be, uh, um, like, like there's not another man that the Lord has already set up to come in and do this work. Okay? You, he can slide right up in there and you get pushed right on out, man. It's that simple. That's why we have to continue to work, continue to study, continue to humble, be, uh, be humble, continue to fear your high Shimei Oshai, and continue to keep these scriptures in us, man. Because if you start losing it, then the Lord is going to kick you out. And he's shown it. Okay? It says, For if the Most High spared not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Behold, therefore the goodness... And severity of Yahweh on them which fail, on, uh, on them which fail severity, but towards thee, goodness, if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. So guess what? We you you can be expendable. If you stop doing the work you're supposed to do, you're expendable, man. The Lord will kick your ass right on out. And you will be sitting right on the sideline with these goddamn two thirds looking silly, man. Okay? And this ain't no t like I said. Keep saying I'm going to keep saying it's the time of war, man. We're not trying to be playing there, you know. We're not trying to be fucking playing. This is the book of Second Peter, chapter two and verse uh, twenty. It says, "For if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge uh, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning." Because it's better for you to just be a two third than to come into this thing and turn your back on the Lord, man. Come into this thing, you got the you you got the, the name of your Habashim Yah showing your back. You got GMS in front of your name, you know, which is just a name, but just just put making that in, as an example. You put GMS in front of your name, okay? You doing everything that you're supposed to do, and then you just get a demon on you and decide to do otherwise, man. Your end. Was better if, if if you uh just didn't come into this thing, man. If you just turned your back before you even got into this thing. 
which which even if you did that, you still would be getting destroyed. But I'm going to I'm going to continue. It says for it, it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them, according to the true proverb, the dog is uh, the dog is turned to his own vomit again and the soul that was washed to the wallowing of the mire. So your destruction is going to be 10 times worse. Because two thirds are still going to be destroyed. Those that don't come to the way of righteousness, you're still going to be destroyed. Okay? But the men that are coming to this thing and you put your Halbashim Yahshai's name on your back, okay? And then you decide to turn your decide to turn your back on your Halbashim Yahshai, your end is worse than the damn two thirds, man. Your end is worse than the two than than the, than the elite two thirds, man. Now I'm gonna get one more, and then I'm gonna close it out. And then this is just a precept to that. And this is uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter six, and verse four. It says, "For it is, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit." And have tasted the good word of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come, which is the kingdom. Okay, knowing that the kingdom is at hand, knowing that destruction is coming to America, knowing who you are, your heritage is being brought back to you, knowing who your enemy is, okay, knowing the conditions you're supposed to be in as an Israelite, okay. This is the this is the heavenly gift. This is the heavenly gift, man, knowing who the who the, the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai have chosen. If they fall, if they shall fall away, to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of Yahweh afresh, uh, and put uh, put him to an open shame. Okay, so pretty much the Lord is going to destroy you with an, a, a, a a vicious destruction, man. And you don't want to be on the side. You don't want to be on this bad side, man. Okay, we're already on this bad side. You don't want to go. You don't want to <laughs> add fuel to the fire, man. Okay, so that's the point of being expendable. You can be expendable, or you can be expendable. Okay, and and the choice really the choice ain't yours. But if you do the works, and you do them with faith, and you do them correctly, and you do them through the spirit of your high bashim shy not your own way, then the Lord will make you expendable or expendable. You know. So with that being said, I will give all praise, honor, and glory unto your high bashim shy Double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and salutations unto the elect, the expendables. Shalom.